of all, welcome. The president's had 11 of these events, or 11 speaking events about health care in 11 days, and yet the poll numbers are going down. The blue dog Democrats are not, are not being won over, and it's just not resonating the way he had anticipated. Why? Well, it's very important to recognize that all Americans want good, substantive health reform. Republicans want health reform, and we've got some really good ideas. But the problem is that the bill that's before us in the House of Representatives has a number of flaws uh, in it. It doesn't give us substantive reform. It doesn't help control the cost for American families and small businesses. In fact, it's going to add to the deficit and potentially uh, cause an increase in taxes for many American families and, and businesses. And, so and that's the whole thing, Congressman, if I can jump in here, sir, excuse me for, uh, for jumping in. We have, we have a little bit of time here before Shepard takes over on Studio B. We just had the Fox News Opinion Dynamics poll come out, and almost across the board, people, whatever you make, all think their taxes are going up. The president has hammered home that point time and time again that your taxes will not raise if you make below this amount of money, and people aren't buying it. Well, that's right. And, you know, the president just gave a soaring speech, a lot of good campaign-style uh, rhetoric. But we have to look at the bill that's before us, and I believe there are a number of problems with it. And as we elucidate uh, what's in this bill, it, it's clear that taxes are going to go up. It's clear that it's going to add to the deficit. Republicans have ideas. We have some very good ideas on how we can build off of what's already working. Let's face it, we've got the finest doctors and nurses and hospitals in the world. Folks come over from all over the world to the United States for health care. Doctors and nurses come here to train. Let's build off of that and make it a better system, and that's what we're proposing. Congressman Martha McCallum here. I'm wondering what you're hearing on Capitol Hill about how this is going, because uh, we're seeing a lot coming across the wires today and from our sources on Capitol Hill that there's a lot of infighting uh, among the Democrats about this bill, getting very heated. How, how, what are you hearing from the other side of the, of the aisle there? Well, I've had a number of conversations across the aisle, and there's a broad disagreement among, among a number of factions in the Democratic Party in the House. It's not just the blue dogs. Some of the new Democrats, there are a number of new members who are concerned about the level of taxation in the bill. And the bill doesn't have the kind of reforms that are necessary to maintain quality yet bring down the cost. And that's why I believe Americans want a bipartisan solution to this. And there's a way to do this. And I, I, I would just say to the president, get us all around the table. There are a number of us on both sides of the aisle with the expertise to add, actually really substantively reform health care in a way that will make the American people proud. You know, a lot of people yeah, hear you speaking and they know you're a heart surgeon and they might say, well, the AMA uh, endorsed this plan. Uh, so why isn't this doctor on board? Well, the AMA doesn't represent uh, the large majority of doctors around the country. A number of specialty societies, other primary care groups, and in particular, a number of state medical societies. Doctors who are actually out there in the trenches practicing, rural physicians, are very concerned about this bill, and they disagree with the AMA's position. And so we have to get this right, and I think it's important to work through this bill line by line and make the necessary corrections. And it's not going to get done if it's done from on high by the speaker and a handful of leaders in the House on the Democratic side of the aisle. It's going to take a broad consensus to correct our health care problems. But, Congressman, the president just said we've been waiting for health care reform now since the days of Harry Truman. People are saying it's too soon, but he says we've been waiting for this for, for a very long time. There are a number of things that are wonderful about our health care system, and there's some serious problems. It's a kitchen table issue that affects every single man, woman, and child in this country, and they care deeply about it. As a physician, I care deeply about good, substantive health care reform, but it's important to get it right. We can't afford to make a mistake with this, and that's why I'm urging the president to say, let's, come on, let's all work together on this and really get a good bill and not just rush through something that's going to be a political document to say, hey, we reformed health care in the name of reform. We want real reform, substantive reform, reform that really changes our system for the better. Louisiana Congressman Charles Bustani. Doctor, thank you, sir.